Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to selectively move objects with Swift and Xcode using SpriteKit and also not SpriteKit. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing we need to do is head over to Xcode and create a new Xcode project. Now this time around, it will be a Sprite Kit game, so click game, and then our product name, I'm just going to call mine Touches2, as I already have a previous project. Language will be set to Swift, and game technology will be Sprite Kit, and devices will be set to iPhone. Click next, and create. And let's make this a bit bigger. And let's head right into our game scene.swift, and inside of our game scene.swift, we're just going to delete the label that we have right up here. So delete that. And then we also have this sprite down here. I'm going to keep everything about the sprite except the action that you see right here. And then I'm going to take this sprite and move this right outside of the did move to view right above it just so that it's a public sprite and we will be able to reference this in different functions. Now we can take the rest of the sprite code and we're going to put this right into our did move to view. Now inside of our did move to view, we have the sprite.x scale equals 0.5, sprite.y scale equals 0.5, sprite.position is equal to location, which is no longer valid. So we need to change this equal to CG point and we're going to make the X value equal to frame dot width Divided by two this will put it right in the middle of the scene and then our Y value will be equal to frame dot height Divided by two as well. This again puts it right in the middle of the scene now inside of our touches began we want to make our sprite equal to the position that we touched. So it automatically creates this for us in this for touch in touches as a set of UI touches and the location will be equal to the touch dot location in node, meaning the location will be equal to exactly where you touched on the screen. Now we need to go down here and we're going to say if our sprite dot contains point location so where if it contains the point inside of the sprite, meaning that we touch the sprite, then we want to make the sprite dot position equal to location. And now if we were to build and run this, you will see that we have our spaceship right here and we can click and it'll move over to that scene. But as you can see, I can't click and drag this spaceship to put where I want it to be. It's basically just presenting its center position equal to that of my mouse or where I touched. So let's head back over to our game scene.swift and inside of this, we need to go right outside of the touches began and say touches moved. So when the touches are moved, we wanna do exactly the same thing. We just basically wanna move the sprite.position equal to our location. So I'm basically just copying and pasting all of these four touch and touches and so on and so forth. And I'm pasting that right into touches moved. And now if we were to build and run, now I can click and drag this spaceship around and also you'll notice that I can touch outside of the spaceship and it won't do anything. But as soon as I touch on the spaceship, it will move. And lastly, I'm just going to show you how to do something when the touches are ended. So just say touches ended and we're going to set the sprite position equal to half the scene again. So I'm just going to say sprite.position is equal to CG point X, basically what we set it up in the first place. Now let's build and run this. Now I can click and drag this spaceship around and as soon as I let go, it moves back to the original position. And if you have a second spaceship or sprite that you're trying to move, we need to go up here and I'm just going to copy and paste this let sprite equal sk sprite node and I'm going to name this let sprite 2 equal sk sprite node image name spaceship. And then I'm again just going to copy and paste pretty much everything that you see right here and paste that right afterwards. And we need to change anything that says sprite equal to sprite 2 like so. And now we have our Sprite 2 on our scene. But I do want to make it off the scene a little bit so I don't have them overlapping. So I'm going to make, so I'm going to set the Y value equal to frame.height divided by four. And we'll do the same with the X position and we'll make it divided by four just so we can differentiate between the two different spaceships. And now inside of our touches began, we just need to say else if our Sprite 2 dot contains point, and this will be again the location, then we want to move. So we can say sprite two dot position will be equal to location inside of this. And also we need to do the touches moved. So let's just copy and paste that line of code right into our touches moved. And we can also do the same with our down here where we want it to return to the original position. So we can say sprite two dot position. I'm just gonna move up here to my did move to view and copy and paste this line of code that you see right here and paste that right down here in my touches ended. Now let's build and run. 
And now we have this spaceship right over here. This is our Sprite 2, as you will see. Uh, it's a bit off the scene, but it works. But one thing you'll notice is that I can click and drag this sprite, and as soon as I hit the other sprite, it overrides whatever I had before. And now we're going to do this the non-sprite kit way, so let's go ahead, open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project, and this will be a single view application. Our product name, I'm just going to call mine Touches3. Our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to iPhone. Click Next and Create. Now let's make this a bit bigger and we're just going to head right into our main.storyboard. Now inside of our main.storyboard, I'm just going to click and drag a UI image view onto our scene and I'm going to shrink it down to whatever size I want, put it right over there, and I'm going to change the background color just so it's visible to us. And now we need to open up the assistant editor. And inside of our assistant editor should be our view controller.swift. So inside of our view controller.swift, we want to right click or control click and drag from our UI image view over to our view controller.swift. We're going to make the connection type an outlet, and the name of this outlet will just be our image. Connect. And now down here, we need to create a new function called touches began. Quite surprising. And inside of our touches began, we're actually going to borrow from our sprite kit project that I just worked on. And so let's head back over to our sprite kit project and then just take this for and let statement that you have right here and let's paste that right inside of our touches began. And there's a few things we need to change. This should not be touch.location in node, this should be touch.location in view. And this will be our self.view, like so. And inside of this for statement, we're going to test our image to see whether it's being touched or not. So we're going to say if the image dot frame dot contains, and we're going to see if it contains the point of our location that we have right here. And after that, we needed an open curly bracket, enter and close curly bracket. Now inside of this if statement, we need to say image dot center will be equal to our location, like so. So now that's pretty much all the lines of code we need to move this image. Next thing we need to do is have a touches moved, like so. And we're just going to copy and paste all of this code that we have inside of our touches began. Paste that right in there. And if you want to have a touches ended, we can. So let's just say touches ended, and we're going to say image.center will be equal to our self.view.center, like so. And now if we were to build and run this, you will see that we have our big blue you will see that we have our big blue block right here and I can click and drag that around and if I click anywhere else nothing happens but as soon as I start clicking on it something happens. Woo. So as you can see there's a difference between sprite kit and the non-sprite kit way of doing things. Now if you want to add a second image, we can add that image right in here and we can click right click or control click and drag from this ima UI image view and create this image like so. We're going to call this image to connect. And inside of our touches began, we need to pretty much do the exact same thing. We need to say if our image to dot frame dot contains point and this will be location, then we want to move our image to. And we can change the position of our image to just by easily saying image to dot center will be equal to location. And now we can copy and paste that line of code, put it right inside of our touches moved, and we will have that happening. And we won't worry about touches ended this time. Now let's build and run. And actually we can't see that image, so let's go back to our UI image view, head over to our background. I'm just gonna make it a green background and build and run. And now we have this green image right here and this blue image right here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Also, leave recommendations for tutorials that you would like to see in the future. But anyway, thank you again, and I will see you in the next one. Woo. Okay, enough.